turn around and face them with a thousand eyed beast audience. <laughs> In his paintings, no matter what his paintings are, I always see the universe. Um, when he actually does paint stars, it's absolutely majestic. But in, in each of the four paintings hanging in here today, I see the universe. Um, this poem is called Payload, and it was written for my nephew, who died at the age of 37. And um, at the time, the space shuttle was still going up into space. He had a friend who worked at NASA, and his ashes were sent into space, um, which I think is marvelous. So, um, here we go. This is Payload, and it is for Chris. You never could have imagined at 18 and a half that you were middle-aged, at the exact halfway point of your life. None of us could have imagined that. You were the smartest of us all, reading it too. And at six, scoring so high on an IQ test that your school retested you, and you scored higher. <laughs> at 12, you planted your flag like the first man on the moon, only you stuck it in a hornet's nest and were stung dozens of times. Mm -hmm. And even then, seeing you with angry red welts, no one could have imagined that one third of your life had already been lived. You were born on a cold, gray day in January. None of us could have known that 37 years later to the day, you would leave your deathbed, your grandmother's bed. And in the absence of God, what better place to return than to the universe, where the elements of life originated in the aftermath of exploding stars, catastrophes that echo across the spectrum. Wow.